please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Today we will discuss the concept of congruent triangle. Before that, let's see what is meant by congruent. The word congruent. The word con congruent has uh, multiple meanings uh, in a similar form like it is all it is uh, congruent means same or identical or you can also say uh, coinciding in terms of the shape and it is also mean, it can also be said that one shape can become other by turn flip or slide or slide so these are the multiple meanings of the congruent of the word congruent okay so uh, uh, by uh, by using these meanings, let's apply this concept on triangle. So, what is meant by congruent triangle? Let's write its definition. Two triangles will be congruent if if the corresponding sides and angles are equal. So, we have mapped the concept of word congruent on the triangle. If the two triangles will be congruent or same. If their sides and angles are equal, as the triangle is uh, is basically defined by means of its sides and angles. So, if we, we want to check if the two triangles are same, we have to see the sides and the angles of both the triangles. Okay. So let's see see how what two things are required for saying that the given triangle is congruent. Okay. First thing is the sides. And the other is the angles. Okay, so um, let's have the two uh, tri uh, two uh, triangles and uh, find out whether they are same or not. So I'll draw the triangles as like this, and I'll label it as this is A, B, and C. It's B, C, and F. And I want to check whether these two triangles are congruent or not. So the first thing is we have to check the sides. Okay. So first we will see the sides of these two triangles. If we talk about the sides, then we will say that there must be a one-to-one -one correspondence between the sides. That AB must be uh, AB corresponds to DE. BC corresponds to B, EF and AC corresponds to AB. Okay, so we can write as as AB is congruent to DE. Okay, then BC is congruent to EF, as this is the sign of congruent. Okay, and AC is congruent to DF. So this is the condition for the sides that the sides must be equal to the to of both the triangles. So if I write as this is triangle one, this is triangle one, and this is triangle two. So triangle one and two will be equal if the condition number one, that is the sides are equal or congruent. Okay, the condition number two is the angles must also be equal. Okay, so the angles like if I will say while talking about the sides, we can uh, write as this side is equal to this side. This side must be same as like this side and this side must be same as like these are the, uh, these are the lines that I, I have drawn in order to show the corresponding sides of the two triangles that needs to be compared so in case of the, the angles we can write as now for comparing the angles this angle E corresponds to the angle D then angle D corresponds to this angle A and the third angle is F and it corresponds to the angle C so this means we can say that for congruency the angle B must be congruent to angle E. Angle A must be congruent to angle D. And angle 
C must be congruent to angle F. So this is the condition for congruence. Another condition for the congruency of two triangles. This means for congruency there will be the angle relationship between these two conditions. That the sides and the angles both must be equal in order to say that the given two triangles are congruent. Okay. So if both these th things are equal then we can say that the two triangles that is triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Okay. So we can say this that the two triangles are congruent. So for congruency you have to check the sides as well as the angles and, uh, and if they are both are, if these are equal we can say that the two triangles are congruent. In our next, next lecture we will check how you can find the two triangles are congruent by just checking and, uh, any two sides and angles or two angles or sides or the different um, there are different uh, postulates that we will use to identify whether the two triangles are equal or not. So for the time being you just have the concept of the congruency of the two triangles. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.